Good morning, you guys. And yes, it is morning. I'm filming this at 11 a.m. And yes, that is a bottle of wine that you see next to me. In fact, that's the same bottle of wine that I was drinking from last night when I filmed the second episode recap and review. Um, it's the next morning. I need to finish this wine. Let's get to it. Cheers. Just because it's 11 in the morning does not mean I'm going to skip my power glass. First of all, I just want to say that I think the reason that they bleeped whatever it is that Gilda is being accused of in the last episode is because New Zealand is such a small country. You know, thinking about it, maybe it would damage her reputation in a way that they could prove or that was unsavory or reflected something that New Zealand didn't want to reflect. Because I find it interesting because any time that anything has been bleeped in the U.S. franchises, it's because it could be personally harmful to someone or their children. So, I don't know. Oh, I wonder if they said mail order bride or something like that. I don't know. Maybe it was that instead of sex worker. It's fascinating. There aren't a ton of blogs about this. I can't find any of the cast member blogs. And it's only mentioned occasionally in passing on the Real Housewives Reddit. So there isn't a ton of gossip like there is about the US Housewives and the behind the scenes. But I'm incredibly curious. Do you think that Anne Batley Burton hand feeds her cat roast chicken every day? Or do you think it was a staged scene? I like to think that she does it every day. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot that I said I was gonna wear ears for this episode. I don't have ears. Let me go see what I have. I. I feel like I should wear some sort of headgear for the party. I'll be right back. I'm back. So I don't have any cat ears, but I do have Maleficent ears. Let's see. Those are not cat-like at all. But I do have a little tiara, so I think I'm going to wear the tiara. In honor of Ann Batley Burton's Pussy Galore Party. Is that appropriate? Well, who cares? It's my YouTube channel. My recap. In other news, I wanted to give you guys an update on the cat potty training situation. Garfunkel is consistently peeing in the toilet. Um, Simon is going both places, and he tends to go around the perimeter of the litter quitter, whereas Garfunkel is like going down in the hole into the water. So I'm really excited about that. I'm even closer to my lifelong dream of having no litter, having a litter-free life with cats. Back to the Pussy Galore party and the Real Housewives of New Zealand, Auckland, New Zealand, Auckland. It's kind of the same thing to me. It just It's a tiny island in the middle of the ocean. I don't know, how do I think of New Zealand? Like a beautiful, remote, witty, a cerebral Australia? Michelle and animals, not a good combo. I also realized that I said in the last episode that I didn't like pet scenes. I'd like to make an exception. That is Anne feeding one cat in a specific and prissy manner. It is not Michelle and Anne doing anything in the cat cages. So guess what we're gonna do? Fast forward. Anne Batley Burton, your fur collection is grotesque. Um, I am having Michelle's reaction. I'm disgusted and also want to pet everything. The fact that they are auctioning off fur items at an animal charity, the irony is not lost on me either, Michelle. I see it too. I'm a big fan of vegans and I'm not a huge fan of animal products or fur, although I understand their, their allure and I wrestle with it myself. But I, I just, I really admire Michelle's shamelessness about wanting these items while fully acknowledging how horrible it is that they exist. Cheers to you for being <laughs> realistic, Michelle. Anne won't be haggled over the price of mink. Back to Julia and her statement necklaces. I just, I do not care for her fashion. Julia's perception of herself is not accurate. Like I said before, she purports to keep up an Erica Jane type beauty schedule, but she does not look like Erica Jane. She describes herself like she looks like Erica Jane. Inaccurate. Oh. I'm excited that Louise and Anne are in this scene too. I know they're gonna totally roast Julia over this cosmetic procedure. Anne's snakeskin bag is horrific and beautiful, and I'm enjoying Louise's coat this scene. It's animal print with some big buttons. It's kind of a structured trench. Very cute. The ladies are talking about honesty and plastic surgery. I try to be really honest about everything that I've had done. I get fillers a couple times a year. They're, I generally, I usually put pictures on my Instagram, which is at Ms. Berlin online, same as my Twitter. 
and I I like to talk about it. Women are always asking me about my fillers and asking for a referral to my doctor or where, who they should see in their area, and I think more women should talk about it and be honest about it. So put that in your pipe, Louise. The way that the plastic surgeon is injecting that that serum blood product back into Julia's neck looks very low tech to have to do it with like a little syringe. I don't know. Fillers are more advanced than that even. They can slide it under the skin. Oh, the gold digger argument again. Julia shouldn't have dragged Anne and Louise into it, but they shouldn't have said it. Oh, the shade of it. Anne saying to Julia's face that she did call her a gold digger behind her back and then laugh about it is priceless. <laughs> We are leaving Julia's plastic surgery appointment and heading straight into Angela's world. So I'm gonna get some more wine. Day drinking. Cheers. Once again, I'm disappointed to admit to you that I am enjoying Angela's fashion choices. Her black and white dress with the high neckline and three quarter sleeves, it looks really good. Be cute with a little pop of color belt and some fun shoes, good to go. Hate that. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I forgot about Leah. So not only is, spoiler alert, Angela crazy, but she has a PA named Leah who is from France and Leah has a parody Twitter account if you Google it, it's hilarious. She is one of my favorite side characters and I totally forgot about her. So good, you guys are in for a real treat. Angela is so condescending, I feel so bad for Leah. So bad and so does most of the internet from what I can tell. Okay, and now Julia is getting her makeup done for a work function. Um, her makeup artist is going for the Chris Crocker look in the lips, which I don't always hate. You have to really work it. You have to have a big personality, and we'll see if he does. Also, her neck looks fine. She needs to zip it. She just wants attention. Now Michelle and Angela are furniture shopping, and I know that they're going to rehash what happened at the dinner party, and I don't really care because I know that Michelle is right and Angela's wrong, and so I'm just going to fast forward through it a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness, day drinking is really hard. I still have 23 minutes of this. I have half a glass of wine and I'm exhausted. I'm ready to take a nap and I can't because I have to go house shopping later today. Sob story, I know. Now we're at Goose Creek Estate setting up for the Pussy Galore party with Anne and I have to point out that her husband laughs exactly like her. <laughs> I really feel for Anne and her dead pet corner. I lost my last two Devons, Harold and Maud, earlier this year, and I keep them on my mantle in the living room, and I look at their boxes every so often, you know, that they're in. Um, so I totally am tearing up about <laughs> Anne's dead cat collection. <laughs> I live for all the Cartier that Anne wears in her talking heads. She has the necklace, the bracelet, the ring. It's amazing. She even has a pin, a brooch, in this last segment. I see you, Anne. Anne knows how to throw a party. It looks like she's doing past hors d'oeuvres and plated food buffet. Anne and her husband are talking about the power being out and making jokes with one another, and it's this huge crisis on the night of this important pussy galore party. But all I can think about is them sitting together at night, tipsy, and laughing at a joke together. <laughs> I love you, Anne. And your husband. Angela and her assistant, Leah, look really cute arriving to the party in their little pussycat ears. Ha! Of course Julia and Angela are in the same outfit. How funny. I totally forgot about that. I'm almost out of wine. Ugh, I'm out of wine. Normally I love Gilda's fashion, but I don't know if I really like the big thick gold collar with the silver cat ears. You have to totally respect and love that Louise is like, yes I said that, I'm ready to confront it, and I'm sorry. She was not a cowering housewife. She was very direct, ready to address this conflict head on and get back on the right track with Gilda. Ooh, Louise calling Angela a bitch. All right. So Julia and Michelle are being very catty about Anne's house, and I don't approve. Let her have a grandma room if she wants. Julia and Michelle, you can throw all the shade you want, but one day you too will be old. All right, Michelle telling Angela to pull her stomach in was pretty shady, pretty, pretty rude. I would have been butthurt about it too if it wasn't a close friend telling me that. 
That's a pretty obvious shade, Michelle. I'll have to call you out for that. Um, it's kind of borderline racist, this whole I look like a real New Zealander thing and you don't, coming from Angela to Gilda. Doesn't it? Isn't it? All right, it's very obvious that Angela's assistant bidding on her contribution to the Pussy Galore fundraising effort is staged and I'm embarrassed and I'm gonna fast forward through it because I watched it my first go round of watching the series and I can't do it again. I'm embarrassed, Angela should be embarrassed and I feel really bad for Leah. But I hope she had to pay all of that money for her own styling session because that would be the sweetest gift. So that ended pretty anticlimactically, climatically, blah, 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 blah. tipsy, not even noon. I am looking forward to the next episode. See you guys episode four. Thanks so much for joining me this morning. Please subscribe, please like, please follow me on Twitter.